Welcome back to Cinder Valley Talk. I am your host, Mike Briggs. Sorry, I'm a visitor here. We, uh, Cinder Valley Talk, we celebrate what's good about Fresno. And we look and look and look for people doing cool stuff, unearthing cool stuff, discovering cool stuff in Fresno. And we had a great find this week. We found Joshua Burrow, no, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan Burrow with Central Valley Foodies. Just the name is fascinating. Tell us about the group, about you, wherever you want to start. Yeah, well, I'm a Lemoore resident, and um, Central Valley Foodies is a um, community-driven Facebook group. started as a Facebook group um, all about um, local small food business, and um, people go on there and review small f- local food business, and um, it's a place to open up conversation about the different places within the Central Valley. Right. And um, so it's not just you, it's other people doing it, too. Yeah, so the group has uh, currently around 14,000 people oh on the God. Facebook group. Um, and now is it valley-based, the whole valley, Fresno? The whole Central more? Valley, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Bakersfield, Fresno, uh, Madeira, uh, Modesto, all valley. I'm not much into writing, uh, you know, hey, I ate here, I ate there, I like this, I like that. But if there was a place I could go, because I love to discover places to eat that I've never eaten, food I've never tasted before, that would be the place to go. Yeah, that, the Facebook group is the heart of the whole the whole thing. Uh, that's where kind, of, where kind of the magic started. Um, now tell us first, Elf on the Shelf. Tell us about that. Yeah, so the Elf was kind of an idea um, I had with my girlfriend. Um, uh, I won her an Elf at a carnival at downtown Hanford, Winter Wonderland. And I thought, wow, that might be a great idea to bring him along for the holiday season. And he could be a sort of mascot and um, her help review shelf. places to eat. Now, um, places to eat but there's more than that like i have the best smelling thing i've smelled all year coffee fresh fresh coffee you can tell oh, very fresh so it's about things like this too yes where people can get good coffee yes now if you have get good coffee do you have to have your own grinder is that the um, idea yeah it helps so with coffee it's all about freshness so um like with Re- this is rebecca's and um out of lamore and joshua roasting company is the roaster who who does their beans in inside uh, rebecca's and so it's all about freshness. Um, they have the source beans from Ethiopia in this case, and um, they grind their own and sell whole bean. And they also package um, their own K cups in house. So um, versus buying um, coffee from uh, some massive right Costco company. or Walgreens. Or something. Oh, we yeah. shouldn't have mentioned names anyway. <laughs> yeah, but this is all this is all done fresh. You're getting something a product that's fresh just for essentially the same price as you'd pay at the. Great story. Well, I love good coffee. I don't know how to get it or get my hands on it, but I get that big can of Folgers. I open it, and it smells so good for yeah. a day or two. Yeah. It's, after a week and a month, it's just like there's nothing there anymore. Yeah, it starts to fade. Yeah, it's peak freshness is always key. Get a little message. Get a grinder, buy fresh coffee, grind it at home, or get something like this. Yeah, you kind of got two options here. Yeah, you can I, go down there and just get a drink ready to go. Down in, uh, it's Rebecca's in Lemoore. In Lemoore, yeah. Uh, do you know of a place named Mike's in Lemoore, the barbecue? Mike's in Lemoore. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, tell us people watching, where should they go first? You have the Facebook, you have YouTube, you have TikTok. What's the difference? So with the Facebook, that's, um, like I said, that's kind of the heart of the whole um, operation. And that's, um, I would say... Um, uh, for good for an older generation and uh, millennials like myself, people my age, we know how to do Facebook, but all those TikToks and stuff. That's yeah, TikToks uh, kind of more focused. It's real fast and short, short videos, and it's more focused for a younger audience. And uh, the Instagram is um, very focused on reels and and stories on the on the Instagram. And um, uh, yeah, I run both the Instagram and, and the Facebook. Um. And what happens on your YouTube channel now? So the YouTube is actually um, in, in progress right now. Um, I found a guy local um, in Hanford that's going to be helping me do that. So it's not up and running as of yet. So that's something to look forward to. Good. Now, let's say I go to the Instagram, okay. and there's, a, what, a minute or two video. What's going to be on there? A review? Somebody in a restaurant? On the Instagram? Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's kind of just going to places and um, just sharing information, just, just sharing um a, a different place to eat you may not have heard of in Hanford, Lemoore, Bakersfield, um, and just doing short little reels with a, with a song maybe, and just um, highlighting and showcasing what, what they have to offer. I love to see a little clip of the inside of a restaurant before I go there. I love yeah. that. So, And we have some books. Yeah, we got some books. So um, 
there's some rich history in Hanford that I've discovered since living here. And uh, two of the books that I want to mention are uh, Noodles Through Escargot. And the other one is called Disturbing the Dust, Memories and Recipes of China Alley. Um, I the, heard of China Alley. That's in Hanford, right? That's in Hanford, yeah. It's very historic. I think it's one of the most fascinating places in the Central Valley. It's... Um, it, been there for a very long time and has some rich uh, food history mm -hmm. there. Um, they had a little the, fire there about eight or ten years ago. Yeah, it's in it's in suffered a fire, uh, some arson, and they're they're trying to um, restore that. Um, they have a website if you want to donate actually and um, try to help restore one of the valley's. Um, it's a jewel. It's very it's a, important it's a jewel. historical thing. Yeah. Like that. So, so here you have the food. You got a little history, books, history, places you can buy coffee and other things like that. What's in this box? There's a surprise. So in this box, we got uh, Tasty More Cells. This is run by a um, baker in Clovis. Her name is uh, Jackie Hansen. Hope I got that right. Yeah, on the she name. was here just a few minutes ago. She dropped yeah, these off, so I she guess. dropped these off. She wanted me to talk about these, and um, I'd love to talk about them. She's got some scones here. Um, so she's got some, looks like scones with some sort of um, um, flour hibiscus or something, oh, nice. I want to say. Um, I'm going I'm to set it up here. We've got a yeah. close-up shot all set up for this. Yeah, feel free to try them, too. I'm going to try them. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Look at that. Got an assortment uh, of things here. Now, this is in downtown Clovis, or is it a shop? Or a um, so it's a home cottage. She's a home licensed cottage, home yeah. cottage, and she sells um, periodically to different places. She's mm -hmm. heavy on Instagram. You can find her on Instagram. And she's also got a website. Yeah, you can find her things at. Yeah, there's the hibiscus flowers and stuff like that on there. So it's very cool. Well, I want to tell everybody how to find you guys. It's pretty easy. Central Valley Foodies at Gmail is your email address. But how do they find you on Instagram and Facebook? So Instagram, same thing. They just type in Central Valley Foodies. Um, I think there's a similar account with a similar name. But mine's the one. It shows a logo of um, a restaurant in Visalia called Butter and Milk. Butter and Milk. That's yeah, right. that's right. Um, Central Valley Foodies. Um, they're going to be on our uh, Instagram, so find them through there. They'll be on our YouTube and our Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, great idea you came up with. Oh, thank you. This isn't your livelihood right now, right? No, this isn't my <laughs> livelihood. Um, so I'm actually in the process of creating a side business. Um, for marketing mm -hmm. and marketing local small food businesses. Right. So. Um, by the way, tell us about this uh, slide. Okay, so this slide, um, what are we looking at here? The the one on the right. Oh, the one on the right. Okay, so this is the TikTok. Um, so it's just up and coming. I have a guy named um, Ivan Castro. I want to give you a shout out. He's the one running uh, my Instagram currently, or TikTok currently. And um, so I just got a few slides on there right now showing um, a Thai place in Hanford, showing um, a um, burger place in Fresno, and then just kind of a slide of... Um, Highlighting different places. Now, this is your Instagram right here. Though. This is the Facebook. The Facebook. Okay. So, yeah. This butter is... and milk. Look for the butter and milk lo logo on the uh, on the uh, Facebook. And was there a picture of a truck, too? Was that one of your slides? A truck. This oh, is... yeah. So, this is a truck, food catering company, um, and food truck. Um, they got different spots they go to. And this is called San Marcos. Okay. Uh, Taco San Marcos. And they do everything from queso tacos to birria um, and birria ramen. And um, they got a great catering company. Um, we actually had them recently come out to uh, a birthday party. And um, they do really good stuff and well known in the community through um, social media. And yeah. Very good. And then we'll end with our elf on the shelf. You guys go find Central Valley Foodies. What a great idea. That's what it's called, right? Central, Central Valley Va Foodies. Central Valley what a Foodies. great idea. Central yeah. Valley Foodies. You find them on Facebook, Instagram. Where else? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, like I said, YouTube's up and YouTube's coming. coming. Um, I'd like to get a podcast going. Um, and, and if anyone is listening to this, um, if you're a creator or a designer in the, in the area and interested in um, becoming part of this, um, this journey here, um, I'd like to get um, some voiceovers going uh, with my elf friend over here nice. and um, as well as some other mascots I have planned um, for the year when when he's out of uh, when he's out of season next season yeah yeah uh, anything else you want our viewers to know no find us on uh, Central yeah. Valley Foodies um, I plan on putting uh, QR codes up to um, my different avenues of social media throughout the valley so you if you guys happen to see um, Central Valley Foodies on a QR code anywhere in the valley um, 
know to you know scan that thing, get on there, and uh, just have some fun with it. Um, you wanna you wanna create and make a video, a TikTok, your own TikTok video on a food place, or a short video or an interview. Um, make them, submit them to me through my email or one of the social media outlets, and I'll, I can um, I can upload those for um, people to see your stuff. Um, you the last thing I just wanted to touch on real quick too was. Uh, this seasoning right here, it's uh, it's called Spade Ill Ranch, and they're in Selma. You can also find their stuff on. They're linked with Amazon now. They're a local um, a seasoning company. I know there's a lot of guys who are into cooking, barbecue, and all that. Um, they're a really good seasoning company, and uh, they make some great rubs. This is their tri-tip rub, and I I really recommend it. So a lot of things happen in here that people need to know about, and uh, you're helping them do that, Jordan. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. Uh, you're watching Cinder Valley Talk, where we celebrate what's good about Fresno and the Valley and Lemore and Hanford, the whole Valley. Selma, we'll be right back with more right after this.